Indonesian student faces jail for Islam insults. A 22-year-old student from the University of North Sumatra in Madan is on trial for insulting Islam in an Instagram post by mocking the burning of an Islamic flag in October last year. The uh, Tawhid flag? The Tawhid? Oh, to Tawhid. Tawhid. Okay. A Tawhid flag presumed to belong um, to Hibut Tahir. A banned militant group was burned by three Muslim youths on October. Oh, Hezb- Hezbo Tahrir? Is that what mm-hmm. they mean? Okay, interesting. Okay. I didn't yeah. know they have Hezbo Tahrir in Indonesia. Or is this something? Yeah, Hezbo Tahrir? Okay, go on. Yeah. Um, in his post, he was said to have insulted the flag that uh, his script describing the monotheistic, monotheistic God in Islam and God himself. He wrote, what is the matter if the flag is burnt? Your God apparently gets burnt also. So don't take many, it, a lot of this is, yeah, weird. Retications, um that, that teach teaches. culture that makes fools. Your God is just silent over there, playing guitar, getting drunk, and writing porn poetry. Why are you so busy? <laughs> oh, I think. <laughs> the wording is a little weird on that. I think yeah. the translation is weird. A local mosque official who made the complaint said that he was satisfied with the trial's outcome and agreed with the jail term, demanded by prosecutors, um, which was that he served 18 months jail time um, with a $750 fine for a, uh, for the Christian student. Wait, so he didn't even burn the flag? Correct. This is just his Instagram post about other students burning the flag. So some others. So he gets he gets jailed for not for burning the flag. But saying, what's the problem with burning the flag? Your God is not, if, I mean, he's, he has, he's making a very interesting point. He's like, your God, if you believe in your God, I'm pretty sure he's fine. I'm pretty sure, I'm pretty sure the flag, burning the flag is not going to hurt your almighty God. So what the, so what's your problem? So he makes a post on Instagram and he gets 18 month jail and $700 fine. What the hell? Yep. It's blasphemy laws in I, Indonesia. So, but the flag was actually from a group that is a radical group, right? That's and correct. It, and it's banned. It's a banned militant group in Indonesia. So it's not like Indonesia supports that group. It's just that their flag had some holy, some holy, holy scripture. Script holy script or magic words it would be more accurate that should not be burned so even though it's a brand militant group you cannot burn their flag because it has some islamic stuff written on it and oh my god this is so stupid poor guy Sorry, it's an it's- instagram post this is why we need to keep in insu- okay this is why we insult islam right this is why we sit here in safety and say fuck islam fuck muhammad fuck allah fuck the quran Wipe your ass with that shit. Go ahead and wipe your ass with that shit just so that these, that, because these people get over it, right? We insult Islam not just to be offensive, but because we want to desensitize these fucking snowflakes. We want them to be like, okay, you, you put this guy in prison, but we're over here. What are you going to do about us, huh? There's nothing you could do about us. Just, and with me posted on the internet, it's going to be in Indonesia as well. It's going to be all over the place. Your God is so weak that you can't, that you cannot, he cannot c- come and control us if we're outside of the borders of Islamic countries, right? I mean, this is so pathetic. I don't even want to repeat how pathetic this is because we've gone over this so many times saying, oh, your God needs, your God is so weak that he needs man-made laws to protect him. And he's, he, he's, he had pr- apparently created all the universe and all these uh, galaxies and everything, but he gets uh, so worked up over somebody burning a piece of paper that has his name on it. Like, th- none of this makes any sense. And we've said this many times, but the fact is that we could just dismiss this as, as ridiculous, but this is the, the case in at least 13 countries in the world, right? Or more, actually. Every fucking Islamic country out there, this is, this is, the, this is what the fuck that you have to deal with. We have to normalize this. So, you know, insult, insult Islam for the sake of humanity. Like, go ahead, like, make, make, it, make it a habit. Go, go make it a habit of being comfortable with saying fuck Islam. Fuck Muhammad. Fuck the Quran. This is why I actually burned the Quran and recorded a video. People are like, oh, Armin, you went too far. 
No, I didn't go too far. The people that are doing this went too far. I'm trying to make them. I'm trying to make it to to desensitize desensitize people. I've tried to normalize it. It's just fucking paper. It doesn't matter. It's not, you know you have to get over it. You know when we did the, the I think we have made a lot of progress with Dr. Muhammad. They they less sensitive about that now. So we have to now do this with sacred text. Anyways, Wolf is saying, oh. Uh, no, not a flag. Meanwhile, they are beheading people left, right, and center. No big deal, though. Uh, let me see what the top comment here is on Facebook. This is so stupid. I can't believe this is still happening in the 21st century. Like, how how much longer does it take for us to grow up? Uh, don't know. What's, what's really frustrating too is whenever we do make comments like this, like on our page or uh, one of our bloggers writes a blog about this. We always get the same comments of why do you have to be so offensive to people? Why why is it why are you so hateful? What is wrong with the atheist republic with doing this? And we're sitting here and we we hear about guys like this who go to jail for saying this shit. Right. And when we say we're trying to normalize criticism of a religion, we're labeled as hateful. It's not that we're hateful people. We don't hate Muslims, right? We don't hate uh, people, we hate that an ideological reference is so important to people that they, they're willing to ruin others' lives for it. Right. Actually, the top comment on the Facebook post is ridiculous as well. As Donald is saying, kind of like the left wants to do here in the States. No, Donald. First of all, I'm, I think Ali and I are as, you know, we're both anti the regressive left not anti the left anti the regressive left anti the far left but this is not nearly as close to what they do in islamic country come on you could be anti the censorious regressive left and be like oh the, the far left has gone too far when it comes to censorship or uh they're too sensitive they're snowflakes and i would agree with you on that okay but this is but what 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 the Islamic countries the way that Islamic countries deal with people that insult Islam, please don't even suggest it's kind of, don't don't even suggest that it's it's nearly as close uh, to to what people on the left do, and and um, to be fair though a lot of people so I think Donald Donald is criticizing the regressive left saying this is what they would want to do as well. The other side makes the same accusation, right? The other side says like, oh, well, the, if the Republicans or the right gets to power, they would want to have their own, um, you know, as, you know, sh Christian Sharia law in power. And like they would uh, they would kill gays and stuff like, no, no, that's you, you can criticize the, the far right or the Christian right and the far left or the regressive left without suggesting that they're as bad as theore theocratic regimes uh, uh, as, uh, in Islamic countries, okay? They're not as bad. They probably will never become as bad, but they're still bad, okay? Not, it's, it's, I think every people want to always be the greatest victims. So when they see some shitty things happening to people in other countries, they, are, they want to compete with that. So they always have to say like, well, it's just as bad here. No, it's fucking not, you ungrateful people. Atheists are under attack in many places. If they were Christians, their voices would be heard. If they were Jews, their voices would be heard. If they were Muslims, their voices would be heard. But they are atheists, and not many seem to be listening. Let's make it difficult for them to ignore us. We have built a global community, and now we are tearing down geographic, cultural, and language barriers so we can find each other and support each other. In the last decade, we have built the largest atheist community in the world. Now we are doing the same in other languages. With your help, we have started Atheist Republic in Persian and Arabic. انضميت مؤخرا لأسرة Atheist Republic وحيصير عندي podcast باللغة العربية. As we grow, we can dedicate more time, staff, and resources to start doing the same in Spanish, Portuguese, Malay, Bengali, Urdu, Hindi, and other languages. We are providing community, support, informative content, and amplifying the voices of those who need protection, especially in countries where people feel isolated simply for their lack of belief. 
We want to be there for them, and we are only getting started. Help us get there. Check in the description for ways you can support our projects.